All right, guys, Richard here. All right, so I got to cruise on down to the grocery store, grab a couple things. Thought I'd bring you along for the ride. I wasn't planning on doing a leisure ride this afternoon. It's pretty darn hot. But I need a few things, so I'm just going to book on down there real quick. Let's see. So it's 90 degrees, but it feels like 100. It rained twice today. It rained a little bit first thing this morning when I woke up. And then, I don't know, somewhere around like 10 o'clock or something, 11 o'clock, it rained again for just a short little bit. And then the uh, sun came back out again, and it's been warm, nice, and hot. Ah, so what's cooking? So this morning I recorded the AdMotor M81 cargo bike unboxing. Got that unboxed. Got to maybe try to maybe try to get that video edited tonight and release it tomorrow. And let's see what else. And let's see. I'm gonna scoot around this guy right here. <clears throat> Thanks, appreciate it. <clears throat> So, yeah, working on that video, and what else do we have cooking? Might be getting another one in soon. Um, a brand that I've already worked with. Not saying anything more than that. There was talk about sending me, sending me another one, but then a specific one we, we had been discussing, but then nothing was really said about when that was going to happen so I don't know I don't know if we, I've got another bike that's being shipped this week or not but we shall see I don't know I don't like talking about it I shouldn't maybe but I had to invite a couple people to leave again off the channel and that's happened a lot here recently I don't know I wish people could just be civil all right so it looks like they finally paved that area right there where uh, that uh, sidewalk was going to be so more construction there so we're gonna have to zip down here and go up the other side of the road anyway yeah I've been getting a lot of complaints recently. I've had a lot of people complaining that I'm the one complaining. And, you know, it's, it's happened a few times now where they say all you're doing is... They were referring to the XP trike videos. And they're saying, you know, all you do is complain about that. There's nothing wrong with the bike. I ordered one and it's perfectly fine. And, you know, they were saying that all I'm doing is complaining and... I'm trying to ruin the electric business model and blah 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 and just all kinds of nasty crap. And so uh, those guys are gone. <laughs> but you know, I think I've been pretty pretty clear in all my videos of the things that I like, the things I dislike. I had some problems with electric, and I kept kept you guys updated every step of the way as you know uh, my interactions with them and and how customer service has been and. And, uh, you know, even down to getting the parts, which are supposed to show up today, by the way. So, and I've been fair. And, you know, I released another video over the weekend. I released two videos. One was, um, you know, the five things I liked about the electric XP trike, and then five things that I didn't, basically, is what the videos were about. And, you know, 
somebody wanted to bash me because I'm just talking bad about the electric trike. And hey, you know what? Get over yourself. You know, I share the good and the bad and the indifferent. But you know, I'm honest on my channel. And, and, and I know plenty of you tell me, you know, thank you for being so honest. Thank you for being so honest. So it really kind of hit me that I think what a lot of it is, is people aren't used to that. People aren't used to watching an e-bike channel where somebody is pointing out the negatives or sharing the problems that they have had with, with a particular company. And I started thinking about some of the channels that I watch and, you know, there's a couple channels that point out things that they wish were different or, uh, you know, that, that wasn't to their personal preference. And I try to do the same thing, you know, if it's just a personal preference issue, I try to... I try to explain that and say, oh, you know, I wish this was different. There's nothing wrong with it. I just wished it was different because I prefer this or prefer that, you know. But some of these channels that I watch, I certainly don't hear anybody, you know, saying, hey, I have a problem with this bike. And this part broke or that part broke or this happened or that happened. Thanks. Yeah, you bet. So, uh, you know, they make it sound like there's just never any problems with these bikes. And I'm not going to do that. So, you know, people want to leave and unsubscribe because they think I'm just a complainer. See ya. Don't need ya. You know, I am who I am and I speak the truth. And I give credit where credit's due. There's been a few times where, you know, whether I made a mistake and I'd admit it or, or something. Uh, or, you know, a customer, uh, a, a manufacturer gave me some really good customer service and they... You know, we're quick to try to address a problem or something. Hey, I try to give them credit for that too. Because I'm a reasonable guy. And I know that sometimes when you buy stuff or you get stuff, sometimes things are going to break. Sometimes things just go wrong and it just doesn't work out. Whether it's through shipping, a problem with shipping, or whether it's through a manufacturing or assembly process. Hey, sometimes things break. And I'm fine. It's like, okay. You know, we, we hope it's not a systemic problem where it's something that a lot of people are encountering. And it's just a one-off kind of thing. Okay, no big deal. Let's get it fixed and move on. And so I, I try to, I, 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 like I said, I try to be reasonable. Uh, when it comes to electric, yeah, it's, it's more than just a, a one-off. It's you just go back and read some of the comments in some of my videos. There's just a lot of people out there that have had a lot of problems with shipping damage. Which brings me to another issue. There's a lot of people coming to Electric's defense because they love Electric. I understand that. Electric is a pretty good company. They build a budget bike. I get it. They're hugely popular. They've sold gazillions of these things. But, you know, there are people out there trying to argue with me saying it is strictly a, manuf or a, a, uh, a shipper problem. It's the shipping company. These guys mishandle the boxes. Sure they do. Yep. That's a big part of the problem. I agree with you. But it starts at, <laughs> well, that in front of me there, dude. It starts with uh, manufacturing and how the thing is originally packaged. And if it's packaged poorly, it's going to ship poorly, no matter how well it's treated. So don't sit here and tell me that it's a uh, strictly a shipping problem when the manufacturer is is clearly not you know packaging their stuff good enough so i have heartburn with that i certainly do all right let's see if we can let's see if we can make this work Take off this little net. I got this cool little bag that I just bought recently. I haven't used it yet, so I've got to modify it and do something different with it. But because I don't like that it falls down, so I'm going to get some of that corrugated plastic sheets and just line it so it stands up and I don't have to monkey with it falling down. That's the plan. Ooh, hope I get home before that ice cream melts. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, chocolate ice cream, local store brand. 
Hopefully nothing leaks. So we've got some veggies and stuff in there. We've got some veggies and stuff in here. Let everything sit down there nicely. Look at that. We are good to go. This little bag holds a lot more than I thought. I still wouldn't mind having something much bigger. Woo, I need to take this off. I don't think I'm going to be needing shoulder straps. Alright. Do I have any on this side? No, that was just the one that goes all the way over. So let's put that in there and get rid of it. And I don't really need this now, but I'm still going to connect it somewhere. Just so I don't have to tuck it away. Alright. So we'll just do something like that. We're good. Alright, here we go. Oops, sorry. I almost ran somebody over with a shopping cart. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to do a video soon about bike locks and locking up your bike and that sort of thing. I think I'll do something like that. Can I sneak this in here so I don't have to wrap it around somewhere on my bike? Yeah, you know what? You big dummy. We can probably just do something like that. That would probably be fine. It'll sit there. Famous last words, right? That'll hold it. That'll do it. Something along that line. Let's get a phone out. 426. There you go. Where's our curb at? Oh, it's way down there. I bet they hid one down here somewhere. There we go. Anyone coming behind me? No one behind me. And we're off. You know, there's a lot of cars coming. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go up here to the light and use the crosswalk. I think that'd be the best thing to do. Because there's no sidewalk or bike lane or anything over there. So I'm just in traffic and several cars coming down the road. And I just, yeah, not going to wait for this light. But light. It's given me trouble before where uh, it just never turned for me. So we'll see what happens here. All right, no one's going. Here we go. Making sure she was going to stop. I feel like she didn't want to. Ooh, I've had some close calls here recently. Tell you what, really close calls. Craziness going on. Craziness. Alright, so it looks like they took out the sidewalk and built a turning lane up here. So I wondered exactly what they were planning on doing. So I thought they were just doing something with the sidewalk, but no, they actually took the sidewalk out. So they're going to have to redo the sidewalk. And sneak around here, if I can get past it. So yeah, they'll be redoing the sidewalk. So we're gonna be out on the bike lane as soon as it clears a little bit. I don't know how fresh that is. It doesn't look fresh at all. So I don't wanna get my tires all 
gunky. Nobody behind us now because the light changed down there, so they're all stopped, so we're good. But no reason to stay in the bike lane. No. Nope, nope, nope. Florida statute says I can go wherever a regular bicycle can go, and a regular bicycle can be on a sidewalk. Because everybody knows that there's a bunch of crazies around here how they drive. Terrible. So the safest place for a cyclist to be is up on the sidewalk. You just got to be responsible. I've said that many times before. No one behind me. You got to be responsible. You got to watch out for pedestrians. But let's be honest here. For all of you who have been on viewing my channel for a while, how often do I come across a pedestrian? It's rare. And usually it's like one or two or something at most, and then that's it, and then nobody else. So it's just people don't use the sidewalks around here because it's kind of a rural area, so there's no place to really go. It's a long distance between places. So they're not out. So, woo! Whoa! I hope he's going. That was a bee. Oh boy, he even smacked me in the ear and I hope he didn't get in my helmet. I don't think so. That could be bad. Yeah, that could be real bad. Alright. Stop chatting here and get to moving. We got ice cream. We got important things here. No one coming up behind me. All's clear. Right. Right. That last bump did that chain in, it came sliding right off. I guess we're gonna have to come up with something else. Well, that didn't work. We made it most of the way home. Didn't we? I'll just slip it into my bag for now. It's just so heavy. I don't like it. I don't like putting it in this bag over here. Because this thing weighs, I don't know, six pounds or something. But that's the safest place for it. So we'll leave it there. Tell you what. I'm gonna have to check that ice cream when I get home and see if it's see if it needs to be eaten right away. It just might. Yeah, it just might have to get eaten right away so it doesn't go bad. You know, we won't we can't let ice cream go bad, right? Is that a such a thing? Does ice cream go bad? Some cheap ice cream, you let it melt. It, it really doesn't melt. It just kind of holds its shape. And then you kind of poke on it thinking, what in the world is this? Yeah, I don't, I don't buy ice cream like that. That's nasty. It is nasty, the kind of chemicals and artificial junk that we pump into our bodies. Oh, don't get me started. That's a video for another day. All right. Yeah, sometimes we make our own ice cream. That's fun. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Yeah, I think so. Yep, that's going to be it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. Ask me any questions down below. I'll see you in another video real soon.